all right guys so today is memorial day and here is my memorial day dinner uh this is a turkey veggie burger over mixed greens with some cheddar cheese corn on the cob and some asparagus so this is what's for dinner very simple but i try to keep it as healthy as possible minus the cheese so i hope you guys are all having a safe and happy memorial day hopefully you're making the best of it due to the circumstances i know we are um just laying low watching tv and just chilling out it's really hot here today so um yeah we just been chilling out inside so yeah i just wanted to come on and share this with you guys and i will catch you in the next one all right guys so i am just getting ready to use my cherry pitter to get the pits out of these cherries for Seth and I. I had shared this on my Instagram yesterday and a few of you um, asked me about it. I'll put a link to it below for you if you all are interested in it, but it's really cool, especially if you have small kids who like cherries like Seth does. Um, this is an easy way for your kids to eat their cherries without the seeds. And I personally like to eat my cherries um, without the seed as well. It just makes eating the cherries a little more enjoyable when you don't have to fuss and spit out the seed every time you eat them. So I'll show you guys how it works just for demonstration. And then you just do like that gets the seed out and then you just dump it in and you just do that it's super super quick doesn't take long i go through them put a few on the bowl and we just enjoy them so again i'll put a link for you guys Hey y'all, so just out getting a nice walk in, did do a 10 minute cardio workout this morning, so just getting a walk in before it gets too hot, uh, today is supposed to be in the 
80s today. So yeah, just walk in. I tied my hair back up. Um, so I'm just trying to preserve it for as long as I can. Um, but yeah, just walk in. It's really nice today. And then we go back to the house, take a shower, and then finish up some laundry and do some more work. So yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for now, for today. But um, yeah, I'll check back in later once I get home, get cleaned up and get situated. So, all right. All right guys, so we got some packages here that I want to share with you guys. Well, you kind of know what one of the things is. But so, I have really been wanting to get into yoga. Uh, really before the whole pandemic, it's something that I was interested in doing. Uh, PK actually kind of convinced me <laughs> Uh, to kind of get into hot yoga because he does hot yoga. So it's something that I was researching before the pandemic uh, with my gym because they do have like yoga classes and then there's a new like hot yoga studio that just opened in my area. So I was this close to kind of signing up and this happened so this company reached out to me and asked me if i wanted to test out their yoga mats and i was like that's perfect i can find some like yoga videos on youtube or something just to do at home until i am able or until i feel comfortable going back out into a gym so that is what is in this box and want to share it with you all so this is a yoga mat with alignment lines so I thought I would get this since I am at the beginning stages of yoga I wanted a mat that could accommodate me well since I am like so foreign to yoga I've never done yoga before ever I've done Pilates before I've done like aerobics classes before but i've never done yoga so i'm excited to try this out it is skid proof and sweat proof which i really like i don't think that my workout mat is skid proof because it does slide on my hardwood floor sometimes so i wanted to get one that was uh skid proof so that it wouldn't like slide on my hardwood floors so this is the one that I chose. I will link their information below in case you guys are interested in checking them out. Uh, also, I will do kind of like a full review on this mat once I try it out and see how I like it. But yeah, uh, the name of the brand is Top Plus. And um, yeah, I'm excited to try it out. So I got that today. And then um, I did share with you guys in my last vlog that I had placed an order. Uh, I had got Septon a new pair of shoes and I um, was researching candles. And I think you guys will probably be surprised what I ended up getting. But these are the shoes that I got Septon. So I just got him a gray and white new pair of natives in his size. So this is what they look like. And these will be great with all his new summer outfits that I got him. He'll be able to wear these with all those outfits. He can mix and match with several other things. So yeah, that's kind of one of the reasons why I like to just stick to neutrals, neutral clothing for him because that way I'm not buying so many clothes because I'm, I'm trying to like make outfits. So I, pretty much stick to neutrals for him and he loves these shoes these are like his favorites besides his crocs his crocs are also his favorites but i like these you know they're a nicer spin on a croc so got those i always end up going back to what i know so it will come as no surprise that I ended up getting 
another Joe Malone candle. <laughs> so this time I got it in the mimosa and cardamom. This one is in Blackberry and Bay. So I love this fragrance so much. This is literally one of my favorite fragrances by Jo Malone. And I just felt like it was only appropriate that I get the candle because I just love it so much. But here it is. And just take it out here. The nice little cute bow on top so yeah i don't know maybe in the near future i'll venture out after doing some research on the diptyque candles uh i i saw a lot of people saying that it doesn't have a good throw and because i'm not familiar with the fragrances i would love to buy a candle from that line based on me trying it out in the store first so until then, I will just stick to, you know, scents that I'm familiar with. Um, I did really, really, really want to get a new candle. So this is kind of like a little treat. And yeah, so I will be replacing this one. I'll probably just put this one in my bathroom and then leave this one out here and just burn it occasionally. <laughs> but um, yeah, also... My girl Keiko was telling me that I should get a candle warmer. So I'm going to look into that too um, instead of burning the wick. So I'm going to look into a candle warmer. I'm going to try to see if I can find one that's kind of like aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Uh, I think that is the reason why I've never gotten into candle warmers. Just because they don't always look like, I guess... They don't have the chicness look that I'm looking for in like candle warmers, but I'll continue to research it, but I think it's a great idea. Um, and I feel like that that would be a great alternative to burning the wick. I did place an order for um, like a wick clipper. So that should be coming in the mail soon. That was a recommendation by my girl Keiko as well and her like Amazon favorites. So I jumped on and ordered that. So that should be coming here in the next day or so. But yeah, I'm so excited to have my new candle. So yeah, that was everything that came in the mail today. I don't expect any more items to arrive. I did place an espresso order for um, their new iced like coffee brew. So I'm waiting on that to come. But other than that, I don't have anything else coming. I'm actually having iced coffee right now. I'm trying to get into this show that I've been watching called Homecoming. And it's one of those like series that you got to really pay attention to and you can't be distracted. So I'm having a hard time because I'm always distracted. Either, you know, my child or work or YouTube or something is always distracting me. So I'm really, tr I'm trying to focus and get into it because they have some really good actors in here. Um, so yeah, if any of you guys have watched Homecoming, let me know how you like it. Like I'm just so lost. I keep having to like start over each episode because I'm like, what, wait, what happened? So yeah, is anybody else like that? Like in order for me to watch like a series like this, I have to like completely block out everything or else it'll just be on and I don't know what's going on. So yeah, it has Julia Roberts in it. Uh, Jen I think the next season has Janelle, Janae Monet, I think that's her name, uh, in it. So yeah, but that's it guys. That's all I wanted to share with you. I'm going to finish doing some things around the house. Um, I think up for dinner, I'm going to have what I had last night, uh, turkey burger. That veggie turkey burger was so good. So, so good. So I think I'm going to do another one of those. And I still got some corn on the cob left. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. Oh, I'm wearing this little romper from Target. I shared it with you guys, like my loungewear video um, that I did a while ago. I'll put a link below if you want to check that out. But I'm just wearing this because it's just a chill, cozy, comfy day today. Uh, and, yeah. So 
yeah, I am headed to UPS store. I have some things that I need to drop off. Uh, Nespresso pods. And then this is a mouse. You guys remember that mouse I had got? That wireless mouse? Uh, it had like died on me all of a sudden and so they sent me a new one so that's the old one I'm sending back to them so I don't get charged okay. so like my new sunnies I just picked up like them um I'll put a link for you guys if I can find them but my girl Kiana on Instagram had posted a picture yesterday and told me where she got those glasses from and I was like oh my gosh I need those in my life and so I did a pickup online pickup order and um I placed the order online and the, the girl brought them, brought them out to me. So, but yeah, so I am just getting ready to head back home now. Well, no, I got to stop at Whole Foods first. I got sidetracked with these sunglasses, so I had to run down here and pick these out real quick. And um, now I'm going to run to Whole Foods and grab a few things, and then I'm going home. So... I am signing off here. Again, thank you all so much for coming along with me today. I hope you all enjoyed. And yeah, if you have any questions or comments, just list them below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.